In the last video, we've made a system that clears certain items from the player's inventory. But that's not always the most practical way. So in today's video, we're going to be creating a system that clears every item that has an illegal enchantment. And with that, welcome to the second episode of me making an anti-cheat. So let's get started. Instead of creating a new file, I'm just going to modify the existing one. But you guys can create a new file if you want. So the first thing that we want to do is remove the banned items list and also the code that uh, sets the item to air and displays the message. But we still need to check if the item even exists with this line. So whenever the item doesn't exist, we do not execute the code that is beneath it. Next we want to get the enchantments component from the item. This works exactly like getting components for a player, but the only difference is that we're using an item here. We can tell our editor that this is an enchantment component by adding this line of code which will give us the right type definitions, which we also have to import of course. Next we want to iterate through the enchantment list. We're using the enchantments property of our enchantment component to get a list of every enchantment that is currently on the item. So the next line of code is a bit difficult, so bear with me. I will explain everything in detail. So first of all, we will get the enchantments type from the item. The enchantment type contains useful information about the enchantment, such as the ID and also the max level, which we can use to check what the maximum possible level for an item is. And then we compare the enchantments maximum level with the enchantment's current level. And if the maximum enchantment is bigger or equal to the current enchantment, we just skip the code beneath it. Finally, we can take action whenever the item has an invalid enchantment. In this case, I'm just gonna replace the slot with our air item stack. We could also remove every enchantment that the item currently has and then set it back to the updated item stack but I'm gonna stick to the setting it to air method. Let's finish this off by adding a message whenever the item gets cleared. This alone would work, but we really only need to test if one enchantment is over the maximum level, so we'll add a break at the end of the code, so we save us a bit of performance there. And that's actually it. Now let's see it how it works in game. We have this hacker here who is gonna give himself a 32k item. And now the item got removed and there is a message in the chat. And yeah, that's actually it with this video. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe and definitely join my discord to suggest the next thing that I should add to this anti-cheat. Bye!